friends, this video on Kinetic Theory Part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched Part 1 before going ahead with Part 2. To start with Kinetic Theory, we will start from the basis of Kinetic Theory. As I told you, what was the basis of this theory? It was nothing but, it was the basis was gas consists of molecules or atoms which are rapidly moving, right? Now let us consider when I talk about, so let's talk about molecular nature of matter. So in this, what are we going to discuss basically is there are many different scientists who gave their own views or ideas in order to prove the molecular nature of matter. Long back, there were scientists like Feynman and many others who gave atomic hypothesis, right? Wherein they told that all things in this universe are made up of atoms, which are little particles that move around in perpetual motion. So here in this picture, you can see this is nothing but gold. I don't know if it really resembles a gold, but this is actually a piece of gold which we normally see around us with our naked eye. This gold basically is made up of molecules which are rapidly moving inside it. Now, when I talk of molecular nature of matter, it was an important role is played by Dalton's atomic theory. Dalton's atomic theory is also known as the molecular theory of matter. This was the theory which was successfully accepted and this is the theory which proved that matter is made up of molecules which in turn is made up of atoms. So this theory basically proved the molecular nature of matter. So it, this theory stated that every object that we see around us consists of molecules which are rapidly moving, which are continuously moving. Now we will discuss about this molecular nature of matter. As I told you, when I talk of molecular nature of matter, the story started long back. I mean, if we see the history of this, we will see that it started with the atomic hypothesis, which was given by scientists like Feynman and many other group of scientists together. What did they say? They say that each and everything which we see around us are made up of atoms. What are atoms? They said that atoms are little particles that move around in perpetual motion, attracting each other when they are a little distance apart, but repelling upon being squeezed into one another. What does that mean? So this atomic hypothesis told that every object is made up of atoms. Atoms are those objects which are very little particles and they move in a perpetual motion. They have a property that if they are a bit distance apart, they will attract each other. But if they are pushed into each other or if they are forced to be very close to each other, then they repel. So this was a special characteristic of atoms. So this theory came long back which said all things are made up of atoms. Not only this theory, there was a law given by Gay-Lussac that is popularly known as Gay-Lussac's law which stated that when gases combine chemically to yield another gas, their volumes are in ratios of small integers. So what am I trying to show you in this slide is that not only Dalton's atomic theory was the only theory which proved the molecular nature of matter. There were several other theories given by different scientists which concluded the same thing. So one of them and the oldest of them was the atomic hypothesis given by Feynman and other group of scientists. One of them is the Gay-Lussac's law. Even Gay-Lussac's law concluded the same thing what the Dalton's atomic theory told and also the Avogadro's law which said that equal volumes of all gases 
at equal temperature and pressure have the same number of molecules. Now this same number of molecules is more popularly known as the Avogadro's number which has a constant value, right? So I'm not going in depth of these laws. What I just wanted to convey was that there were several laws which proved the molecular nature of matter. But here for us, Dalton's atomic theory was the law which proved the molecular nature of matter and this molecular nature of matter forms the basis of kinetic theory. On, basis, on the basis of this molecular nature, the entire theory came up because as I told, this theory will talk about the behavior of gases. So everywhere it will start with this consideration that gas consists of atoms which are rapidly moving inside it. Fine. So let us go ahead. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.